How good is it to pick a raspberry fresh from the bush and eat it straight away? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I grow my raspberries in three garden beds, three raised garden beds quite successfully, and I can actually grow them for six months of the year. That's half of my year where I can come out here and I can pick raspberries. It's easy to do, and I'll show you how. Stay tuned. G'day everybody, welcome to my Aussie Garden Kitchen. If it's your first time here, my name's Darren, but please call me Daz. And as you can see, I'm right here next to one of my raspberry patches. Well, it's a raspberry bed, actually, it's a raised bed. I've got summer single bearing raspberries here, and I've got autumn or fall, as people say overseas, fall bearing raspberries in this section here. And these ones are an ever bearing, which means that they crop twice a year. So in this video, we're going to look at growing harvesting, pruning, and general maintenance and tips and tricks on raspberries. Because here, where I am in Australia, I can successfully grow them for six months of the year. It's absolutely fantastic coming out here over a six month period, half the year, and just picking raspberries to freshly eat or take them inside and bake with them, cook with them, whatever I like. It's absolutely fantastic. So stick around and check out the way I do things here. And hopefully you'll learn something from it and have great success where you are at home. So I prefer to grow my raspberries in raised garden beds. And the reason I do that is raspberries are quite the prolific grower. They'll get growing and they'll send out little babies all over the place and they'll spread. Now that's a good thing because you get lots of free plants. You can actually dig them up and repot them somewhere else or give them to friends and family or you can let them grow and harvest from them. So what I like to do here is I like to grow them in my raised beds. They're contained in those raised beds. They can go crazy in that space that they have. And I just keep control of them, making sure there's enough airflow and sunlight and all those sort of good things to help them grow nicely. And I have quite a lot of success doing it this way. As you can see, I've got a shade structure going over the top of my raspberries. Now, the reason for that is that I found that over time, no matter what variety of raspberry I grew here in my area in Australia, the really strong, harsh Australian sun in summer was just too much and it burnt the leaves. So by using a 50% shade cloth, which I've got up here, it's controlled the amount of sunlight that comes through and I'm having great success at growing them all the way through the summer now. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. It looks a bit wonky, dodgy, but believe me it works and I'm pretty happy. Okay, so what I've done here is I've drawn up a bit of a diagram to give a better visual explanation of what I was talking about with the different types of raspberries. So you've got the summer variety here, and as you can see with this fantastic drawing of mine, the summer variety only bears fruit in summer. So when summer comes along on your second year, you'll get your berries growing on the plant. Okay, so now we've got the second type of raspberry, which is the ever-bearing raspberry. So these guys have a main crop in autumn or fall, as people say overseas. Now, as you can see here, I've said main crop with this fantastic diagram here for autumn or fall, as people say. And what I want to explain was in the autumn or fall, the berries will actually grow in the top portion of the plant. Say this is a, a raspberry cane here. So the berries will grow in fall slash autumn on the top part of the plant up here. Now in the summer, if you let them grow any longer, they'll have a smaller crop and the smaller crop will be produced in summer. Now, if I just go back to this diagram here, the summer crop will then grow on the lower part of the plant like that. So when we get into pruning, we'll talk about how we've got the top and bottom sections. So as you can see from this diagram here, you've pretty much got a single bearing that will do summer and you've got an ever bearing that will do autumn or fall and summer. So when it comes to pruning the raspberries, 
you look at it in two different ways. You look at either the summer or the single bearing, or you look at the fall slash autumn ever bearing, and you can prune those in different ways. Now, for this picture here, we'll just focus on the summer, which are the single bearing. So as you can see here, I've got green canes here and here, and these darker ones are the brown canes. So just to keep it simple, the darker brown canes are the older ones. So these will grow in the first year, and then in the second year, they'll turn a darker color, and you'll get the berries appearing on them. So then what you would do is you'd harvest the berries off these in the second year, and then as you can see here, those old ones, you prune those off at the ground, get rid of them. Once they fruit, they're no good anymore. So you get rid of them, chop them off at the ground, but you leave these ones here, these green ones, you leave these in the ground. I'm trying to do a tick there because in the second year, these will turn dark like these. And when they turn darker like these, they'll produce the fruit. If I grab my red, they'll produce the fruit in the second year. So you leave the green in and you get rid of the old ones that fruited. It's that simple. And then in the second year, when these ones are growing and turning dark, you'll get new ones again that will start popping up. Well, not in red. They'll be popping up, there you go, in green. And they'll then fruit the next year. So it's a cycle where it's pretty much a two year cycle. So what you're trying to do is you let your first ones in green grow. The second year, they'll get darker. They'll fruit, take off the fruit, chop them out, get rid of them, and leave the green ones. Okay, so here we've got the second variety, the Everbearing, the autumn slash fall variety. Now, as I said earlier, these guys here, they will fruit in autumn or fall as well as summer. So what I like to do is once these are fruited in my autumn here or fall, as people say overseas, I'll wait till say midwinter and I'll cut them off at the ground completely. Just get rid of them all. Totally gone. Now I wait till midwinter because they're still actually growing a little bit after they fruited at the end of autumn or fall. So I'm just waiting just to get a little bit more energy down into the root system down here. So I don't chop them off straight away. But then say come midwinter, I'll get rid of them and then that way they've got a full season to come and grow back and I'll get some nice, big, strong and healthy plants for my, for my next autumn and fall. Now, as you can see here, I've said prune it all, however. Now, the reason for the however is because what you can do is instead of cutting them all off at the ground, what happens is, as I said earlier, in the autumn slash fall, they'll produce berries in the top section of the cane, not the lower section. So then what you can do is if they're fruited on the top sections like this, you can cut them off at the top sections, leaving the bottom section of the cane. And then in summer, you'll get another crop, a smaller crop that will grow on the lower section of the canes. So you do have that option, but for me personally, I like to just wait till the middle of winter and just cut them all off. I just whistled on camera. I have no idea if that showed up or not. So you do have the two options. So I hope I haven't confused you and I hope this helps. And yeah, good luck with your pruning. I lost some footage, so I just wanted to touch on a few things. And the first one being that raspberries are going to grow up to two meters tall, which is about six foot. So it's recommended to have some sort of stake system in place with string or wire, or even a, a trellis support system, just to give the raspberries some good support, especially when there's wind. And also when they start to fruit, they're going to lean over with the weight of the berries on them. 
Now, as I said in the video earlier, they like a sunny position. So it'd be good to have them in the sun. Now with the sun here in Australia, where I am in my particular location, the sun is extremely bright and hot over summer. So I've got the shade cloth structure just to protect mine because the leaves do burn off in the extreme heat. Also with planting the canes, you want to have them about 15 centimeters, which is about six inches apart, just to give them room because they will expand and grow over time. Now, when it comes to planting, I like to plant the canes into mounds. The reason for the mound is just so the excess moisture goes down into the soil. And if I just bring this up here, so the reason I plant my canes into a mound like this is because I want the moisture to go down into the soil below because they really don't like soggy roots and they are susceptible to diseases and the roots rotting. Um, I think it's a root rot that they can get from just having really wet feet. So I like to have mine in a mound where the moisture or the excess moisture will go down into the soil. And also with a raised bed, um, with my raised beds in particular that I'm using, the base of the beds is actually off the ground. So any excess moisture can seep out below and go to the ground. So the beds aren't keeping all that moisture in there and giving them soggy feet. So it really is recommended to make sure you don't have your raspberries too wet. You do need to water them, but just don't have them all boggy and soggy. It's not good at all. The next thing I was going to mention was disease. Now, as I said, they can be susceptible to diseases. So I like to spread mine over three different garden beds that are not touching each other. Just so if disease does become rampant inside one of the beds, I've got the other beds as backup and hopefully there will be no disease in those other beds because they're separated from the one that has something going on. I do like to mulch. I use a sugarcane mulch. With a sugarcane mulch, it's going to keep moisture in. So you need to be careful with that watering. It's going to suppress the weeds and eventually that mulch, the sugarcane mulch, does break down and it goes into the soil, which is a great thing for the garden bed. With feeding, you can get a fertilizer for strawberries and I found that raspberries do like the strawberry fertilizer. And also at planting, I use blood and bone. It's a blood and bone fertilizer and I just throw that into the soil at planting. And occasionally, if the plants are looking a bit rough during the year, I might give them a bit of blood and bone as well and just water that in. Now, I was saying earlier in the video about how I get raspberries growing for six months out of the year. And that's because I grow the two types. I'll grow the summer bearing and I'll grow the autumn bearing or fall bearing. And then that way, I've got a summer season. And then when that's completed, I'm going into autumn or fall and I have the next lot of raspberries coming from those ones as well. And if you're a big fan of raspberries, maybe look at doing something like that. Thanks very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, I wouldn't mind if you could consider giving a thumbs up. The thumbs up tells YouTube that people are watching the video and they like what they see. It really helps my channel. And also if you consider subscribing, it's totally free. Ticking that bell next to it gives you notifications of when all my new videos come out and when I go live. That way you can chat with me live on YouTube. So thanks again for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Bye.